Uh, yeah, question in the front. Yeah, so isn't studying in a four-hour block the same as studying four hours spaced out? Wrong, but good question. <laughs> So in my last video, I talked about how quizzing is more effective than reviewing. The study that I highlighted showed that when sixth graders were quizzed on a certain material three times versus reviewing a different material three times, they actually ended up scoring an A minus average on the quizzed material and only a C plus on the reviewed material. Today, I wanted to talk about the advantages of spaced repetition as a study technique, which is at the heart of the Anki algorithm. For those of you who don't know what spaced repetition is, it's instead of studying cardiology for four hours all in one day, you would instead study cardiology one hour a week over the space of four weeks. Now, spaced repetition has shown to be effective on sports teams, classrooms, and teaching hospitals. In one of those studies, they took surgical residents and divided them into two groups. The first group learned about microsurgery over a four hour period in one day. The second group, they ended up having them learn microsurgery in one hour sessions over the period of four weeks. The total amount of time as well as the content taught was the same for both groups. The only difference was the time interval between lessons. The first group having the whole lesson in, the, in four hours and the second group having that four hours spread out over a four week period. At the end of the study, the residents' microsurgery skills were tested on live rats. Their objective? Reattach the severed aorta. The group that had spaced out training outperformed the block training in almost every aspect. They were quicker at the surgery, they had fewer hand movements, and they were more successful at reattaching the aorta. Now, the block training group was better at damaging the aorta to the point that they could no longer continue the surgery. From this study, I think it's important to note that the natural talent of the surgeon didn't matter. It didn't matter the content that was taught, and it didn't even matter for the total amount of time that the content was reviewed. What was important was that it was spaced out. What is beautiful about Anki is that it spaces out your studying automatically. Let's take a look at how that actually works. Uh, so here we can see the Anki review algorithm. And what it ends up doing is if I didn't know the material, I can hit again and it'll show it to me again in 10 minutes. If I did know it, I can see it in three months. But if this is a new card, it would show me again in 10 minutes. Um, and then if I knew it pretty well, I could see it in a year. And if it was super easy, I could see it again in two and a half, two and a half years. Now, if you're just starting out and you're just reviewing the cards for the first time, uh, it only gives you three options. Uh, the first one again, which is it'll show you the card again in a minute. Uh, it shows you um, good and that'll show you the card again in 10 minutes. And then finally easy and that'll show you again in four days. Now what this allows you to do is it allow, it automatically will sort the material that you're more comfortable with uh, from the material that you are uh, tend to struggle with. So you end up seeing concepts that are more difficult for you more often. Uh, and like I said, this is one of the best algorithms, the best space, spatial repetitions uh, for any flashcard software that I have seen. I would like to end today's video with a quick disclaimer, and that is that spaced repetition is difficult. It is uncomfortable. You might end up spending the first 10, 15 minutes reviewing material that you knew cold the week previously. But my suggestion is that you embrace that uncomfortableness, that you embrace that difficulty, because studies show that the more difficult learning is, the more likely that you are to retain it. And that is actually the subject of tomorrow's video. So that is it for today's video. If you liked it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, please let me know in the comments below why not, and I'll try and make changes for the future videos. And again, thank you for watching.